Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Panos Markopoulos. I'm a professor in the Department of Industrial Design and director of the PDN program, Professional Doctorate in Engineering program of this faculty, the UZI program, as you all know it. I'm very happy to welcome everybody here. First of all, the smart and good-looking people that are next to me, the current generation of UZIs, but also the future and past generations of Uzis that are here, and the friends and family, of course. We're very happy to have you. So welcome to Eindhoven and to the Technical University of Eindhoven. So for those who don't know it, I'll give a little introduction first what uh, the PDN program is about. The Professional Doctorate in Engineering is a degree that is awarded in the Netherlands, not in many other countries, uh, which tries to provide the level of education that you normally associate with a PhD that follows a master's, but now geared towards industry. So we're not so much about academic papers, although lots of these guys do that very well, but we're more about transferring knowledge to industry. So it's a whole program that the Dutch, the, th the four uh, technical universities in the Netherlands are sponsoring, are, are running, uh, in order to actually get very many smart people from all over the, the world uh, and from the Netherlands to make this transition, to go one step further after the masters and into the industry. So some of our guys are ready and girls are ready for this. So we're very happy today to award the diplomas. We'll follow a very simple procedure. There is a, well, we, usually they stand on the cross, but maybe you can come a bit closer from the cross. But okay, let's say the cross is your mark. When, when your name is called, so I need to get my list. So, your coach will come now. I'm going to do the first two as a coach, and your coach will be standing here giving a few words for each one of you and then awarding you uh, your diploma. And this uh, book holder or a slash. It's like looking like our logo of the university. And I just find out it has a very functional purpose. You can put your diploma in there. So it is a diploma holder that is a souvenir for you to remember your time here. But hopefully we will also give you some words to remember. So I will uh, start first uh, by calling Jan Shuli. So Yang Shu, or Yang Shu Li actually, I'm not sure which one is the first always and the last with Chinese names. You studied computer science at Zhejiang University, and you came to us with some experience already in user interface design. And from the very first interviews that we had, so I was actually interviewing you, it was clear to us that you're a very capable and intelligent person. What was also striking was your honesty, when you were also stating very dryly things that you probably knew that the interview committee should not want to hear. But we were actually happy with the honesty. Later, we got also the label of communication problems for this, but actually that's not completely true. Uh, so we really appreciate the honesty and the factual nature of your answers. During the UZI program, I saw you do very well in courses, and I often heard you present uh, for your team or for your own work, and you had a very clear and structured style. And you had a very dry way of presenting and discussing, which always made me doubt if you were also a bit self-sarcastic when you were doing it. You definitely showed to have a very critical spirit and to appreciate doing things very thoroughly. So you worked in a project with me that we, in a collaboration with Philips Research. We were working on sleep quality visualization. And uh, your job was to present people's data about their sleep in a way they could understand it. Before you came, we had plenty of context mappings, interviews, ideas, paper prototypes, networks, but actually nothing that we could give to people, nothing they could use. So you decided to bridge that gap. You were going to make uh, this, this, uh, this uh, mobile app that they could use to visualize their sleep data. So here's where your engineering background was shining through. 
on the wake, you still had to shape a design brief, make prototypes, do user testing. And you showed very good skills in doing all this. Your major difficulty seemed to be under, to understand that you were in charge. Sometimes you were surprised that it wasn't me or the stakeholders who were going to decide, but you. But in fact, you did it. And you had a very clear vision that you wanted to stop people from being misled from the data that is presented to them. And you give them very, a very intuitive and clear visualization with which they could do it. They could view their data. We're very proud of your result. It was an excellent project. And we are sure you can produce more fantastic results in the future. We wish you will learn to sell yourself a bit. That is your, the little advice we want to give on the way. Um, and to have more conviction for your decisions and your qualities, because they're very high. We hope to keep in touch. We definitely will be publishing this work. This is what we like to do. And you will move on to real uh, industry work. It has been great to work with you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you the best for your future. Congratulations. And Batiela now. Now I will pretend. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit uh, teased. <laughs> now your coach couldn't be here today. He's having a great time in Australia. Um, but uh, you know, we got him to write something for us, and I will try to. Re I will read it out. So uh, Bart did a project with uh, Ben Scouten. Um, my colleague, professor in industrial design. So here's the words of uh, Ben. Bart picked out a very contemporary subject, city logistics. The optimization of interests amongst a large number of stakeholders, such as the city council, shop owners, transportation companies, etc., stands as an example of many social and economical innovations, something that is sometimes referred to as the ecosystem. He also chose for a very contemporary solution, a serious game. An interactive game that creates awareness and insight in the different aspects and interests of citizen logistics. The game that Bart designed supports learning by doing, by taking, the role, uh, taking a role in the game, like a shop owner, you can not only experience and learn what the different decisions in timing, workflow, stock management, etc., might be but also that you, might, you have to create a win-win situation together with the other stakeholders. Bart understood this problem very well and studied different game mechanics to support this process. He succeeded very well and gained a vast amount of exper expertise in the use of serious games and visualization. Not only the game itself is a process of optimization, also the design process you went through together with the clients and different interest groups is a tedious and complex task which includes not only design skills, but also communicative and planning, as well as business and service design skills. This was sometimes hard for you and required a fine balance between vision and participation, allowing every stakeholder to be represented in the game equally and in the process of making. Maybe that is the biggest lesson and experience you learned in this project and some, something which could be of even more benefit for your future career. Be confident, you can do it, trust your own skills and expertise. It was really nice working with you. You're eager to learn and grow. I'm sure you will succeed in the next steps in an interesting career. And a bit from me, I want to congratulate you. It has been a pleasure to have you around. I'm glad you found your way. We had a couple of discussions of what would be an interesting project, so this kind of seemed made for you, and it really helped you go the direction you want, so I'm very happy about that. Congratulations for your diploma. <laughs> your eyes for a minute, I will just... Uh, <laughs> this didn't hurt. <laughs> You're supposed to do it here. Now, dear Leonard, congratulations to your PDE diploma. 
I knew you actually very recently. Uh, you came into my office and asked, can you be a coach for my UC project? I said, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I worked already at the Mirabal. I'm going to do a project related to service design. I want to create a guide for designers to use in the early design phases so that they can co-create experience map with their clients. I said, oh, that sounds interesting. Maybe I can contribute from my expertise area. Then we had a deal. But I didn't actually foresee how the collaboration would go because he had a full-time job. Mirabel actually hired him, hired you to be a full-time staff. And he was allowed to do UC final project there. So I was wondering how this will go. I mean, a full-time job and then the project. And your company coach is Kim Liefheber. Actually, she wants to be here today, but she couldn't. She's in Paris still? She's in Paris. And she wrote a small note. Let's see what she finds about you. Admirable, Leonard and I work together on many projects for KOM Air, Air France. I really enjoy working together with him. He always works very thorough, and that's essential for the complex projects and clients we work for. This is reflected in the end results of his project. His guide to co-create experience maps with clients is a great asset to create a best-in-class user experience and can be used in early stage of the design process. He's a very talented and enthusiastic designer with a great passion for his work, eager to learn from other people. He's a real asset to our team. I have to say, I have to agree with her. Um, you're very independent and responsible for the things you do. I, I cannot imagine how many projects you're doing next to the UC project. Within all the limited time frame, you delivered excellent work. You manage your process very well. And no wonder I heard that you have another name in UC, they call you Planet. <laughs> so now, I, it's a secret I learned. So, um, I really enjoy working with you, and uh, it was a very short period. I hope to see you back, maybe, yeah. as a client for the UC students, for the industrial design students in the future. And uh, I wish you all the best with your career and the bearable, and uh, thanks for the nice time. Congratulations. Laura, it's great to see you standing here, and congratulations to your PDE diploma. Actually, we met each other almost seven years ago. That's a long time. I still remember the first time we met. Laura was helping me to coach first-year students in their one of the very first business assignment, and um, and after that, I also also coach you know, one of your design project in the master. And I was assessor of your final, I don't remember anymore, but we had a lot of interaction moments. I was very happy that after your master degree, you decided to stay with us in the CRISP project, Grip and Mobile. Um, and in the, eventually this project also became part of your UC final project. The project was conducted at Southsorg, which is a care organization in, in, in Brabant, in, in Eindhoven. It was meant to design a new communication channel to help South Africa Extra to communicate their daily activities and services to their elderly residents in the neighborhood. Um, just for your information, South Africa Extra is actually a service organization within South Africa. They organize social activities for the elderly in the neighborhood so that to help them to stay away from social isolation. Um, they work with volunteers and a lot of vulnerable elderly. You saw already researched the different channels that South Zorch is already using at the moment, like flyers, and newsletters, and emails, and sometimes just a one piece of paper. <laughs> and you had focus group with the people and survey with the professional caregivers to understand how the different channels are used at the moment. You, that's where you learn the pros and cons and different strategies they're using at the moment. And based on the insights you collected, you propose a number of new concepts. And that's not 
the end of the UC. What happened is we have uh, at the uh, to Einholm, we have a bachelor college. Within bachelor college, we have a youth learning line on new product development market analysis. The results of your UC project was used as input, and students from the bachelor college from all different di disciplines were able to follow up. So I would say the project with Laura is still living alive in the context of South Stroke, South Stroke Extra, and in the education system at the, at the university. So it's very well done. Um, later on, I met you again <laughs> in the same use learning line, but then you were as a client for Game Bus. So your professional preparation and feedback to the students were very much appreciated. So thank you very much. And I really like the fact that you stayed with us for so long with the faculty and with the UC program and uh, to have you in the project team. I want to thank you very much for your contribution and all the best for the future career. Congratulations. Don't forget them this time. Marta, recently I was challenged to articulate my vision for education and for research. And I explained to the panel the idea of a P-shaped education, P like the Greek P, of someone who is not only able to work in a multidisciplinary team, but has gone into depth into two different disciplines, and is thus able to work in the intersection of the two being truly transdisciplinary. I didn't realize at the time I was sketching your CV. You were trained as an environmental engineer in Poland and a cognitive scientist in University College London. So UZ was a natural extension to bridge these two sides and to let you look at combining insights from cognitive science and giving them practical application. You have done this a lot throughout your UZ career, not just the final project that we worked with together, and you worked on a range of products that looked at people's motivation and people's behavior and how to influence it through technology. So that's how we got to meet when I asked you to work for the Perserco project. It's a collaborative project with Philips Research, ACMEA, the insurance company, and uh, with the University of Munich and a user interface design company in Sweden, RISE. So I thought the two of us could make a good team and impress project partners, but following up on the work of uh, Maritz Kaptein, who had developed some nice research on profiling people. In reality, we made a team, but it was more like you were the team, and I was on the sidelines. So I didn't come to many project meetings. You had to represent the TUE single-handedly to negotiate with the partners week in, week out for Skype meetings, at the meetings we had at project partner sites. And you did all that with very minimal briefing. I was, of course, keeping an eye on you very loosely from the sidelines, as I said, but it was clear you were handling it well. Even this I actually did not need to do. When I joined some of the meetings uh, at Philips and uh, at uh, the offices of ECMEA, I could see firsthand how the partners responded to you. You commanded a lot of respect for your opinion, they appreciated the fast progress you made, and how you managed to handle the fact that most of the other partners had not done anything for six months, while we had to start moving. So you adapted to that changing situation. So much were you handling the project uh, business that when I decided to uh, try to upload the financial data, the partners asked your permission to let me upload that data. <laughs> I'm glad you gave it. So. so you showed to be a true professional. And not only that, an innovative designer who can bridge the gap between theory and practical application. After all this, I should say what the project was about. Uh, you, tr you created an app for elderly who have mild cognitive impairment, and they have to learn some coping strategies. Now what happens is that they tend to forget and not uh, continue with their training, so you had to find a way to keep them engaged. Uh, and you did it by personalizing the way uh, the system would approach it. Well, I said you did it, the project is still going on, but you have developed already the approach for personalization. Your results have pleased the consortium and the examiners, and they provide a very valuable research contribution on their own right. I have enjoyed working with you. 
I hope it continues one way or the other, as you still now in crossroads and you have to plan your future. So it was a pleasure to have you. Congratulations on your work, on your diploma, and best luck for the future. Katie, uh, I'm now Bart Frith, your company coach. So he sent a text that I will read out. So when Katie started, we knew it would be a challenging assignment at Efficiency Software. We wanted her to redesign the user interface and user experience of our three existing software products. These products monitor mouse and keyboard activity and give advice to increase efficiency and health of the users. Control Work advises users when to take breaks. Sit-Stand Coach advises users when to change position and works together with an electric sit-stand desk to automatically move to the preferred sit and stand position of the user. An alt mouse notices when the mouse is used for action that could be done with shortcuts, so it tries to teach shortcuts to the user. Finding the best experience for 650,000 users in different companies with different wishes and different ways they use the products is difficult enough. Katie, it's third person, so investigated the current software and worked with the Uzi team to determine problem areas, and they formulated an advice to improve the software and user acceptance level. After the design case finished, Katie took the advice into action and started designing a new user experience for our products. Katie started designing screens, controls, and user interactions. To allow faster and better integration with our developers, Katie ne needed to learn a new UX programming language and a toolset. She managed to learn this while also integrating in a company where Dutch is the primary language. The screens themselves also had lots of requirements, such as support for being themed, localized, translated and being properly readable by colorblind people or people who are working with high resolution settings. When a screen was ready, Katie worked directly with developers who bound the screens to the backing functions. This process resulted in a working version which was demonstrated to our customers. A couple of weeks back, I understand. So. She made this all happen while being pregnant, breaking her leg, giving birth to beautiful daughter, Elizabeth. Is she not here today? <laughs> Katie has a great personality and is professional in the work she does. If possible, she will take the extra step to ensure the best results. We are very proud of all that Katie has accomplished during her assignment. And for me, I've always enjoyed working with you. You have a very relaxed attitude, you're happy and you're competent. So it's a joy to have you around, both in the Uzi uh, environment, but also in the projects. So I was very appreciative of the work you did in the Recolipsy project together with the team. The only problem I had was that the people we worked with were complaining that they couldn't have you after the project was ended. So, so we're very proud of you and we're very happy you were here. So congratulations for your diploma and best of success for the future. You will only get one. <laughs> Sorry. So, Theodora, I'm really happy to stand here <clears throat> and congratulate you on a job well done. Or I should say, a job very well done. Um, for your easy project, you went to work at Study Portals, uh, one of our familiar places, uh, with the aim of improving the online editing experience, which is a very complex thing. Uh, since the editor, as a thing, sort of uncontrollably grew in an organic way into something that you had to tidy up. I'm being really friendly here. It was uh, very, uh, very complex. So, but you did an amazing job. And not only did you manage to clean up all this complexity or reduce it at the very least, but you also managed to really have an impact on the way that this particular team was working. 
which uh, for someone coming from the outside could have easily gone south, as it's said on TV, anyway. So within, within only four months, uh, so it's relatively short, you managed to become an integral and well uh, appreciated part of the company, uh, which is uh, uh, not surprising to me at all. Um, because you are, uh, as it says here, and I wrote it, so I probably mean it, you're very likable and have a very well-developed spidey sense in the empathy section. You're very empathetic. And combine that with a high dose of professional skill and versatility uh, you know, makes you a, a great asset to any company, I think. Combine that with the fact that you have a background in architecture and industrial design, now in the online industries, illustrates this potential value all the more. That combined with your wide interest and academic prowess will illustrate it even further. So, uh, uh, in short, I was really happy that you came to me to uh, coach you on your project. Um, our meetings were highly enjoyable, they were always interesting. Uh, you're very self-propelling, so that saves a lot of work and creates a lot of room for interesting talks because you never show anything shallow. So, all in all, you fully deserve your diploma and I wish you all the best. again. Well, it says so here as well. I'm very happy to stand here with you again. Because, uh, yeah, well, at the previous occasion, I had the privilege of handing you your master's diploma. Whereas here today, it is your Pidiang diploma. And I can say that we are running out of diplomas for you. <laughs> so, I'm interested in your future. So, Vincent, we've known each other for a, a very long time now. I believe since the first year of your master at industrial design, maybe even before, but I'm getting old, I, I just don't remember. Certainly uh, from your master at industrial design. And since then, I can only say that we've shared many, many enjoyable moments. We traveled to Sweden, uh, to Milan, you went to London without me. <laughs> now you're in Salzburg, uh, we published papers together, we had lunches in the most old places, in Copenhagen, in in Milan again, with a variety of people, my brother among other things, that must have been quite a, an experience, and so much more. So, in other words, we go way back. Uh, and I was really happy when, after all those experiences, you still came to me to ask me for yet another one, and to coach you on your UZI project, which you did mostly uh, at the University of Salzburg in the group of Martin Moore. Who you met, by the way, here when you were presenting or demoing your work at the TEI 2016 when he was scouting for PhD candidates. And even though that he settled for uh, Dorothee for this particular uh, position, he was so taken with you that he decided to create a position for you, which I think is pretty damn cool. And uh, listening to his feedback last week, I think, or the week before, one week before, uh, he didn't seem to have regrets whatsoever, on the contrary, he was very happy with you. Uh, by the way, for the audience, for those who do not know, in Salzburg he worked on the early stages of a project for the Porsche Group, uh, exploring new, unobtrusive ways to create a richer showroom experience. And again, you did a very fine job. So, Vin Vincent, maybe for the last time, maybe I will see you again for the final diploma. I want to thank you for letting me accompany you on yet another journey together. I'm looking forward to collaborating again someday in which capacity whatsoever. But for now, I wish you all the best in Salzburg. Congratulations. We can or can't all right.
Hello, Bergheim. <laughs> I don't see that often. <laughs> Dear Bergheim, I didn't know you before you reached out to me. Not that well, anyway. Um, nonetheless, uh, I had a very enjoyable time with you, and I'm, I need to say this is going to be a short speech. Sorry. Not because there's nothing to say about you, but simply because uh, in the cliche, words fall short uh, in expressing the great job that you did. So like Theodora, you did your uh, UC project at study portals, uh, but in your case with the focus uh, on optimizing the organization and the search pages. Uh, looking back at your uh, nine month project in this case, uh, I can only conclude two things. First of all, you did an amazing job throughout your nine months at study portals. Uh, you set out to reach your goals and you went way beyond and caused a titanic drop in conversion, by the way. <laughs> Secondly, I think study portals can be immensely grateful to have had both you and Theodora on board for the past few months. I don't know if they're here, be grateful. Because both of you did really, really well. Um, you, in particular, were a joy uh, to coach, first of all, because you're just a very nice person. You know, you're very thoughtful, you're positive. I don't think that you were at any point negative, which uh, in normal cases would have aroused suspicion, but in your case I thought, okay, well, things were probably going uh, well. You're constructive, uh, what not. Uh, also, what is very enjoyable for people on my side of the table is that you are very professional, you're always well prepared, you always knew what you wanted to discuss or, or have a second opinion on, even though you we're convinced of a first opinion sometimes. Um, you're very thorough uh, at your Q&A, at your defense. You were 100% convincing. You gave passionate and well thought through um, answers to our questions. So you are a smart and, and true academic, I would say, because you can easily maneuver, maneuver between, let's say, the, the overview, the meta level, and the nitty gritty detail. In other words, uh, you scored top marks across the board. You did very well. So as I said, I really, really enjoyed our meetings. I hope to meet you again in the future. But until that moment, uh, I wish you all the best at Study Portals. Congratulations. Closer. We were never that distant, so that's okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. Whatever you want. Um, so I was contacted by Guillermo somewhere in January, um, and he was telling me he was looking for a project coach. It was done by email. I never had seen him before. It was to be my first time in the UC program as a coach. So um, I was familiar with the UC program, but I still was a bit hesitant to actually say yes. Um, but since the topic you were working on matched very well uh, with my interests and with the topic of the ed educational squad I was leading at the time, I thought, okay, what the heck, I'll, I'll give it a go and let's see what happens. And in hindsight, hindsight this uh, proved to be one of my better intuitive decisions I made. But anyway, um, after some initial conversations with uh, Ivor and Guillermo, uh, it became clear very well and quite soon that Guillermo was an extremely driven and hard-working guy and he had a really user-centered approach. Um, I can't recall any meeting that he did that he didn't deliver what he promised to do or more and even in somewhat tougher times when you actually had to wait for results that didn't come as soon as that you actually wished so he, you didn't have the control there, um, you set, set yourself to find activities uh, to do that were useful and contributing to the project anyway. Um, now here should be um, actually the time that I tell you what the project is about. Um, I chose in hindsight or in forward sight uh, not to do so for three reasons. Uh, one, um, I could actually uh, create confusion. Uh, two, you would be longer on that spot. And three, you are very well um, 
capable of doing that yourself. So if you want to know something about the project, ask Guillermo. Um, so throughout the project, you, you prove to be able to perform any of the required activities with excellent quality as far as I'm concerned. In our meetings, you were always open and respectful and never, and then I actually mean really never, you miss, never miss, miss an opportunity to use given feedback uh, and improve yourself or your work. Um, this makes you an extremely pleasant guy to work with. Um, besides that you genuinely show an interest in other people, um, and for um, the receiving part being me or other people, um, that gives a really pleasant feeling of being appreciated. Um, all of that uh, made that the project coaching feels less like a coaching effort and more like a pleasant cooperation, which I actually really enjoyed. Um, so also the flexibility in planning the meetings, uh, your clear and honest communication, and the mutual respect contributed a lot to make the project a very nice experience. Uh, in the visit to Philips near the end of the project, uh, which I want to thank you for uh, making that possible, and at the final presentation, all of these positive experiences were confirmed by other people that worked with you uh, as well. Um, I'm quite convinced that you will prove to be an extremely well-performing employee in whether, whatever you plan on going to do, uh, because you put in the necessary effort that's needed. Um, what will make you excel, uh, I guess, and I think I'm convinced about that, uh, sounds silly, right? Um, so what, what makes you excel is, is your ability to empathize, uh, both with people you designed for, as well as with your co-workers. And this character property um, will definitely bring your designs to a higher level, and it will also make your co-workers go to a higher level. So thank you very much for that, and congratulations. Uh, good to see you and welcome to your family too. So I see you both your family. Good. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, I'm afraid so we start to become a bit repetitive. We think you're doing very good work, but in fact it's true. We only hire the best. I remember that you said, well, some of my colleagues did so excellent work, I'm afraid I cannot uh, stand the competition, but in fact you did very well. So, um, yeah, uh, let me say a few words. Already during the modules, uh, you struck me as someone who understood what user system interaction is about. So I uh, remember a, uh, the project that you did with your colleagues in the experience module about the Philips Hue, and I think you did the library project, right? Yeah, and I was very much impressed by the way you went about uh, with work with the children and so on. So uh, you simply did the right things. So I was very much impressed by that. Then uh, you moved to the project uh, or the internship as uh, you might call it. And initially I was not assigned to any trainee like uh, in previous years. So I asked uh, Ivor, well, what's going on? Why am I not assigned to any trainee? And then Ivo said, okay, we still have uh, Sherin, who needs a, uh, a uh, supervisor. And so I was more than happy, uh, given my experience in the first year, to be assigned to you. So that was very happy. Then the uh, project started, and now I address the audience to say what the project was about. So this was a project at uh, Philips Design. I think it's also written here. Well, it says Philips, but it was Philips Design. And the idea was, well, we have a very good impression of Philips Design, of course, but if you listen to the people in the company, they tell you a different story. And so uh, they say, well, the company, the organization is not well aligned. People are not uh, aware of what other people in the company are doing, even people that we have to work with. So there is a nice challenge for 
Serin to work on. So do things that aligns people in the company, create templates to standardize the work, and do things that makes the work more efficient. And that was your assignment. So uh, yeah, to cut a long story short, uh, short uh, I think you did uh, very well, as I said before. And I was not the only one. Reinhardt, your coach from uh, Philips, also said so. So uh, you started with a small uh, assignment yourself and you immediately experienced what it was like to work in this company. I think the work of a whole week was just put off the table. So that is how things go in these companies. Uh, then you started to work on um, ethnographics. So just talking to people, immersing in the situation to find out what it's like being in such a company, talking to a lot of people, doing surveys, identifying problems, and then coming up with suggestions and recommendations. And some of the recommendations have already been implemented, like people were saying, well, we are working at a distance and we need to be closer together. And Philips has actually started to implement that recommendation that people should sit together. Uh, you also made recommendations for common tools and then you created uh, a widget library to make work more efficient. And well, talking about efficiency, jobs that people had to work on for an hour before the widgets were available now only took five minutes. So I think that's a good uh, evidence of uh, success. Uh, let me then say uh, something about some personal impressions, so about the collaboration. I very much enjoyed the collaboration, but unfortunately we only had very little collaboration because I'm used to having uh, something like six to eight meetings uh, in the duration of a traineeship, but in fact I think we had only three meetings. And well, that's, I'll come back to that, uh, what the reason is for, but I would have enjoyed to have more meetings, but uh, so maybe we can do something during the reception then uh, today. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, I think the meetings that we had were at the right moment. So uh, we had a meeting with uh, the three of us, with Reinhardt. Then once you came to the university and you were a bit uncertain about how to proceed. And basically you were interested in sounding uh, my opinion. And I came up with solutions, but I think in fact you were only interested in saying how you thought, thought we should continue and I would should just say yes, yes. But <laughs> as I am a man, we immediately come up with solutions ourselves. So we have some lack of empathy and that is not what I can say of you. So good empathy. So then we also had a meeting about such reports and I think that helped. Uh, so I came up with solutions and at least those solutions made sense. I was happy there. And so, in general, you are a very enthusiastic person, uh, very dedicated, high quality work, and very pleasant to work with. I would also like to say a few words uh, about comments from Reinhardt. So, I will not go through the long list of comments, but only cite the positive points. <laughs> Just kidding, of course, because, uh, yeah. So, he only made uh, one, smile, uh, one uh, smaller remark. He said, well, uh, she is very independent, but maybe a bit too independent. And maybe she, she should have asked a few more questions. So that was the only mild criticism that he had. But apart from that, he said, well, there was an immediate click both with Reinhardt and with the team. Uh, very good, very strong attitude. Uh, independent, I already mentioned. It's, of, of course, also positive. And, uh, well, we also discussed whether uh, you were maybe more uncertain than you ought to be. Because, well, you are doing very good work, as I said, and uh, so be confident in yourself. And Reinhardt said, well, uh, she needs a nudge, but he told so because that's what you said in the beginning yourself. Sometimes I need a nudge. And I think in general it's very good to sometimes hear, well, you are doing very well. Well, I would like to stop there. You are doing very well, and I wish you good luck for your uh, career.
So, Ying, here we are. And uh, time goes fast uh, when you're having fun, they always say. Well, and I really enjoyed being your coach. Today, uh, I will mention a few words to you, not only my words, but also the words of Matthias Funk, because he was your coach. I brought in the educational perspective. He acted as a designer and a software engineer. So, um, I will read something aloud. Yes? Dear Ying, um, as I mentioned, your coach, Matthias Funk, is unable to be here. He is celebrating some time abroad. Um, I mix his words with mine, yes? Um, congratulations to your degree and to being done with your project. You did a tremendous job and in a rather interesting project. And we ha were happy to have you on board. To be honest, and these are the words of Matthias, interesting was not a very accurate description of the project. Actually, it is a grave omission of a lot of messy details and complexity you were encountering. But that's how we pitched the project and played the trick on you, and we were glad you played along. You worked on a challenge in the educational part of the industrial design department, and this is what I particularly admire about you. You really dabbed into it and you came to understand it quite soon, or fast, I must say, and that is a challenge. Um, we were moving towards a more efficient and transparent approach to teach and assess our students at the industrial design department. Um, when you st started, there was a tool, Feedback Camp, um, which we had already developed in the past years. You, your project was about making this tool fit for project assessment. In short, getting tool from version 2.0 to 3.0. Um, while wor working towards this goal, you took a shot at the general usability and found embarrassing bugs. We were happy to have Matthias on board because he could help us. Huh? Um, we think, think you had a very convincing idea that would make a big difference in using the tool in daily practice. Um, we hope to harvest in the near future uh, when your ideas get fully implemented. Um, your project was to analyze what needs to be done and to design and organize what feedback camp 2.0 and 3.0 should be, and you certainly achieved that one. Um, this speech would be incomplete to give you some praise because you deserved it. Um, what we liked about you with working, right from the start, um, you were in the center of your project, owning it, driving it, and pushing us towards the next milestones. That was quite an accomplishment. Um, your hardworking attitude and professional conduct paired with some um, methodologically proceeding through quite a few difficult phases we had in our project, that was what we will remember. Um, coming to the end, both Matthias and I would like to congratulate you once again and wish you all the best for a few wonderful future. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure uh, that I can address you on this occasion. Uh, we initially met uh, at the course that I had given early on uh, at the UZI, at your uh, studies, uh, but I got to know you better during your final project, so I would like to focus my speech on, on that. So your initial project brief was to conduct a user evaluation of apps that were developed uh, to help people conserve water. These software apps were developed by the Insight Center for Data Analytics, which is part of the National University of Ireland. During the project, you had to face several severe challenges. First, your visa for Ireland took months instead of days. When you actually arrived in Ireland, you had to spend time to partly develop and debug the apps uh, uh, before you could conduct the evaluations. And most interestingly, you found out that trying to conserve water in Ireland is a kind of an oxymoron, a paradox, since in Ireland, and I checked it, the average number of days in which rainfall occurs is close to 200 days per year. <laughs> to top all the aforementioned issues, the government had also just introduced a tax in water consumption for the first time in the history of the country, which made the population quite angry and potentially hostile to any ideas about water conservation. <laughs> you were literally flooded with challenges. 
anyone else would have drowned. Yet you tackled every challenge as a seasoned marathon swimmer. You surveyed the literature on persuasion models. You conducted user research for refining the conceptual design of the apps and applied your findings into the design of actual working prototypes that you then evaluated with end users and all of that in approximately half the time that you would normally have for such a project. I would uh, really like to commend your perseverance and work ethic on getting the job done. And I would also like to praise the calm and polite nature of your character that helped you in this project. It was a real uh, pleasure working with you in this uh, project and congratulations and all the best for your future career. So before we close the ceremony, uh, I want to thank, of course, all the coaches and uh, uh, thank the organizers of this uh, ceremony, Marcia, uh, Lucille, and Ivor. Uh, and uh, thank all of you for your attention. I hope the future generations are also suitably impressed and want to follow suit. Uh, I have to take a very austere face now and read the formal part, and which you're um, asked to listen to carefully. The scientific degree of the professional doctorate in engineering involves duties as well as rights. As a holder of this degree, you are committed to standards of scientific integrity, trustworthiness, intellectual honesty, openness, and independence. These standards are described in more detail in the Netherlands Code of Conduct for Scientific Practice and in the Eindhoven Code derived from it. You also have duties towards society. You must be clear about the boundaries of your own expertise, and you must communicate honestly and independently about the results of your work, including potential risks associated with it. You are committed to the ethical codes for research and design involving human subjects or animals. But I'm sure you will do all this, because you've done it already for some time now. So congratulations once more for me. Thank you all. We're now going to close the ceremony, but there's a procedural part. You guys are trapped for a moment. We will first go out this way, and um, the, well, the graduates the, will follow us. There are no candidates anymore. The graduates will follow us, and we will take a picture there first, and then you can follow, and uh, we can have a reception. So thank you very much. I close the ceremony now. Thank you. Thank you.